Hey guys, this right here is a fun little item. This is called Arsenal. It is the intelligent camera assistant. Um, unfortunately, we've been inundated with Instagram ads for this guy for the last maybe year. As uh, my wife and I have started taking quite a few pictures and posting them to Instagram. So I'm sure they just want us to uh, buy their stuff, which we finally gave in and purchased the Arsenal. It will connect to various cameras. We have our Nikon Z6 here that we're gonna go ahead and connect it to. I'll do a quick unboxing. It does take a long time to set up. I was reading their FAQs on their website and after you unboxed it, it's going to require quite a bit of uh, firmware upgrades to make sure that it works with my Z6. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, if you don't know what the Arsenal is, the Arsenal is an artificial intelligence. Uh, it adds artificial intelligence to your camera. So when you go out in the field, if you're shooting in auto, um, it's easy to put the camera in auto. This guy will actually control your settings. It will take a look at the scene and then based on what other professional photographers are doing, it will set up your, your scene to capture the sharpest part, part or it'll automatically run um, really smooth water near the ocean. It'll do HDR for you automatically if HDR is gonna be the best. Uh, so it makes auto significantly more intelligent. Uh, so we've got a little thank you for choosing Arsenal with a little URL to get started. This thing is tiny. It is really small. Um, it plugs into the camera's hot shoe on the top. And let's zoom in just for a moment here. This thing is really small. I mean, comparatively, or I guess if I bring my iPhone 10s, this is the 10s, right? Wow, I'm forgetting. Um, <laughs> You can see it's just about as wide as that, and uh, it's very small. Um, so that is the arsenal. And inside the box here, we have a USB-C cable. Oh no, what am I saying? This is a micro USB cable to USB-A. That is because the arsenal charges on one side with USB uh, mini. So that guy plugs in there and here we go. So this is a little scrunch cable. This guy plugs into the other side of the arsenal. Uh, so USB-C, this came with a little scrunchy USB-C cable for my Nikon uh, Z6. If you were to buy the arsenal, you'd wanna buy the model that comes with the cable to connect to your camera. Um, I do have to go through quite a bit of a setup with this. It requires uh, connecting it to the phone and doing firmware updates and all of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, but very basic unboxing. You've got the power adapter if you purchase it in the US. You have the charging cable for it and then your connection cable to your camera. And just to hook this up to the camera, real quick here. So it slides in like that. Does not really add any bulk to the camera. And then it connects to the USB port, so. My USB is on this side here. Right at the top. So that is how the arsenal would connect. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through the setup process here. If you don't like setup processes, feel free to skip this part. You can go ahead and stop the video. If you wanna to continue to watch, I'm okay with that as well. This might take a little while. So I'll open up the arsenal remote app. And there is a get started. First thing it does is it asks me if I want to join the Arsenal uh, Wi-Fi network, so I'll join that. And it tells me it's unable to join it. Okay. You know, one thing I didn't do was turn it on. So I press the power button, there's a little blue LED on the back. And let's hit get started again. Connect into Arsenal, and it is connected. So there we go, turn it on. Then it will have a Wi-Fi network. To connect to a new Arsenal, make sure it's powered on and tap the Add New Arsenal button below. 
add new arsenal, Wi-Fi connected. And at this point, I'm just waiting for it to do something interesting. All right, so I'm hitting the back button, nothing's happening. I'm typing get started again, tapping, not typing. Add new arsenal, and it's just sort of sitting there. Not telling me if it's due, oh, there we go, it took a second. Uh, firmware update required, so it needs to update our firmware. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in some power. The really neat thing about this is you can actually charge it while it's in use. So if for any reason the battery on the arsenal isn't what you expect, you can carry on around a giant battery like this and uh, keep everything nice and powered. Uh, this battery charges our notebooks, it charges our iPhones, it charges uh, our cameras, it charges everything we throw at it. Okay, we've got an update, 444 megabytes. The latest firmware update is actually the update that introduced support for my Nikon C6. So while they were advertising to us for a while here, we probably would not have been able to use this earlier on in our photography exploration. Um, really quick download. Wants to join the network again? Sure. Transfer into Arsenal. So this process will probably take a little while. We'll skip past that in the video. We're at 3%. All right, guys, so this is just about done here. Um, actually, it tells me that it's updating the firmware, so it's going to update the firmware. It will take about eight to 10 minutes. While that runs, I just wanna mention something about how I purchased the Arsenal. Purchased it directly from arsenal.com, and I wanted it very quickly because I was going out of town. Uh, actually flying to Utah tomorrow. Uh, with that in mind, I purchased directly from Arsenal and I wanted it quickly, so I paid the $35 for next day guaranteed shipping, and ended up getting it about three days later. Uh, the other thing that really sort of uh, was funny about that, I bought directly from them. I don't love buying from Amazon. I find that I've actually ordered things and they've come empty box. Uh, I've ordered things and the wrong thing ships. So I don't really buy from Amazon if I can buy directly from the manufacturer. And uh, as soon as this thing did ship, it said, hey, we're fulfilling this with Amazon and it came in a nice little Amazon Prime box, and I am an Amazon Prime member, I would have gotten free next day shipping directly from Amazon. So that was a little funky. Um, so if you're buying it, maybe take a look at your Amazon account and see if you should buy directly from Amazon. All right, so it has finished updating the firmware. Tap next when the blue light turns off, so the Arsenal light is off, so I'll go ahead and touch next. All right, it is now reconnecting to the Arsenal network. It's my understanding that after it connects, it will create a unique network just for our phone here and the arsenal that way, you know, third parties that are, are, you know, other people who are walking around don't have access to our arsenal. Okay, so it went ahead and created a new arsenal network. I will join that. It is connecting to our camera. Let me go ahead and turn the camera on. Camera not detected. Oh, there it goes, it connected it since it just got power. All right, so I have this on screen. In the top right, there is a live view button, so I'll go ahead and touch the live view. That brings in uh, onto the screen here a view from right outside our window here. So they believe that if I was to take a picture right now, these are the settings I would want. I will have to play with this. Uh, I was hoping that as soon as I opened it up, it would start doing some stuff, maybe changing some of these shutters. And I will have to go through here and play with this a little bit. You know, I'm wondering, I'm in manual mode right now. Maybe I have to be in auto. Nope, they actually want my mode dial to be in A. The other thing that I'm doing wrong right now is I'm supposed to be in handheld mode if I'm holding it by hand. You do that by pressing the power button for three seconds. What it comes down to is I have to play with this a little bit more, figure out how this works. I will uh, try to shoot a couple things and I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching.